How's it going everybody? Welcome back for an all new video. So I know it's been a couple weeks. Um, I was on a hunting and fishing trip last weekend, so I didn't have anything lined up. I figured it would just be a good weekend to take a break and do something different because normally my weekends are dedicated to this channel and working on the car and everything. So I didn't have much going on besides that, so I decided to take a little bit of R&R. Everything is back to normal now. I am back for the weekend, so you guys are going to get a video this weekend. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Thank you so much for joining this video and watching the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. We're working our way towards 2,500 subscribers. That is the next big goal, so be sure to hit that like button and be sure to hit that subscribe button. So one thing that people have asked me in the past to do, and I was kind of hesitant to do a video on this, so I'm gonna make it clear right now, I'm not a detailer, nor do I have any detailing experience. Everything I do to my car, um, mechanic-wise, washing-wise, is I'm a shade tree mechanic, whatever you wanna call it, in the garage, weekend warrior, whatever. So, with that being said, today's video is what I use to wash my car, how I clean it, what I use to do like small details, and it really works well for me because I clean it about every weekend and it makes it quick and it stays pretty clean throughout the week. So I'm gonna show you guys the products I use, what I do to clean it, and it um, should be a fun little video, so stick around. Super quick before we get this video started out. Today I got in the spark plugs for the Duratec motor. Um, what else have I gotten since then? Pretty much all the small stuff. Um, I got the diamond washers in. Pretty much all the small stuff is here. I just need the engine now. Um, this includes pretty much all the basics that you need, um, at least as far as I know. I'm gonna order a few more gaskets to do like a rear main seal and stuff like that. Um, this is just a valve cover gasket just to do when you replace the valve cover in between motors. So super exciting stuff. Keep watching for this. Um, hoping in the future I should probably start looking for an engine for right now, um, all the small stuff is here. So this is kind of my detailing uh, arsenal. I use a Portland power washer. This is the one from Harbor Freight. It's a 1750 PSI. I think at the end of the day, it might put out a little bit less than that um, when you put like a gauge on it, a pressure gauge and everything on it. But I've used it quite a few weekends now and it works pretty well. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. It's Harbor Freight, so you kind of expect it to break after a while, but so far it's been good. It comes with a adjustable tip wand, your gun, and it also comes with the, a foam bottle. Something that I've yet to do with this power washer is you can actually get a new foam gun and you can get a new wand for it with like the quick release attachments for the wand. Uh, I think those are Ryobi parts. I just haven't done it yet, but it's something that I really want to do because I feel like it's a little bit more quality of a product once you add in the new accessories, but haven't tried it yet, so if you guys have, be sure to throw it down in the comments. Moving over here, I made this little cart, put a little squirt bottle hanger on the side of it. Um, basically what I use are a interior smelly spray. I've got Windex here. This is a degreaser, um, natural shine protectant for the interiors, another VLR. Um, I really like this VLR stuff. Goo Gone, don't use that too often. This is that H, no H2O stuff. If you guys watched in a previous video, I used this on the car and it worked pretty well. And then I have a spray wax. This is my go-to favorite after car wash thing to use. So we'll go over this in this video. Otherwise, up here I have a wheel cleaner. Um, this was Eagle One, I think, and the bottle broke, so I put it in this vinegar bottle. And then this is the soap that I've been using. I haven't used this soap before, but so far it's worked really well. It smells really good, like oranges. It's Turtle Wax brand, so it's good, and it foams up really nicely. In my bottom drawer here, I have some uh, BSS swollen scratch remover. I've had this for a while, it works pretty well. I also have a uh, Carnuba wax, which I don't use too often, but it works. And then Swirlex, it's kind of old, I just keep it around just in case. Uh, I have Rain-X water repellent for your windows, which works well, as always, for most Rain-X. And then this is stuff that I've gotten recently and it's worked really well, VRP vinyl rubber plastic. Um, this I put, in, put on all my plastics, all my vinyls, and it makes it super glossy and it looks nice and it repels the water and it's dry to the touch so it's not like greasy or anything. 
Really like this stuff. I put it on my tires, on my spoiler, because it's just rough plastic. This has uh, clay bars, rubber clay bar thing, uh, and then just kind of some applicators and then a, a buffing pad. This also has more of my little wheels that you use on the drill. These actually probably need to be replaced. I tried to clean them off, but they're honestly a little disgusting. Um, a microfiber window fog cleaner. This is all my microfiber pads. Um, some are new, some are dirty, but I make sure to clean these after every single wash and not drop them on the ground, so they're still pretty good quality. This is my dedicated drying towel right here. It's uh, pretty big and it makes drying the car pretty easy. And I have a brush here, a hard and soft bristle brush um, for wheels and stuff like that. And I have my fuzzy soap clean pad. So that is all the stuff that I use for washing the car. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my pressure washer to do a soap spray first. The car is not really dirty, it's just mostly dusty, so it should be pretty easy to wash today. Um, I would just use the no H2O stuff, but the dirt particles are a little bit bigger since it's been a couple weeks since I've washed the car. And I'll do the soap first, then we'll rinse it off, um, do wheel cleaner, and then we will do a wipe down of the car. Um, try not to get any swirls or anything like that. So I'm gonna jump into setting it up and then we'll get to spraying some foam. I've got my foam gun attached and all ready, so I'm just gonna spray down the car now. I'm just gonna spray it down with the pressure washer. All right, so most of the dirt is now off, which is good. So we can move on to doing a sudsy wash. So I'm going to wipe down everything and do a final rinse and then move on to drying. So, car is all cleaned off of soap. It's looking great. It just needs to be dried now. So, I only have one drying towel for this, um, and I do a pretty good job of wiping it down and then going over it with the wax. So, I'm gonna dry this real quick and we'll move on. Thanks, man. All right, so the car is all dried off. So I could stop right here, um, but I haven't waxed the car. I do a light spray wax, which kind of like does like an upkeep throughout the week, and it really helps repel like heavy water spots and everything like that. So you could just do a big uh, ceramic coating or a big wax job to the whole car and call it good, but I like to do the little spray one in between everything. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that and then we're going to apply our um, tire dressing and plastic dressing. I'll show you how that works because you can really tell the difference on those. And then uh, and I think we'll be done. All right, so the spray wax I use is this Mother's stuff. Um, it's just what I like. I've used others in the past, but this one has worked the best for me so far. And what I do is I take two rags. One is like a super soft one and the other one a microfiber, but it's a little bit coarser one, like the kind that you know sticks to your fingers when you touch it. I shake the bottle a little bit, spray it on the panel, and just gently kind of wipe it in all around the paint. After that's done sitting for a minute, I'll come back in with the other uh, microfiber towel. Just do a quick kind of buff out the excess, and you can see it go away. 
pretty much right away. It has the tendency to fog or leave some streaks if you leave it on for too long. And if you do a larger area, it can happen pretty quickly. You need to be quick about buffing it off. But so now it's a nice, smooth, kind of light, light wax that'll last a week. And then by next week, when I go to wash the car again, it'll be nice and easy to clean. And then I'll just do another wax job. Here's kind of a shot of what it looks like. It's really nice and reflective. That's the garage light right there. Nice and reflective. This stuff doesn't totally get rid of scratches like a wax would. Um, since this doesn't have like enough compound and like product in it, it doesn't fill the scratches, but it pr produces a nice little um, shine for quick waxing. So I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna do all the panels of the car and then I'll uh, catch back up with you after that. entire spray waxing process is done and I think it just makes the car look a little bit better than it did before um, I really like the spray wax that mother stuff so now we're gonna move on to the plastic and tire shine here's the product that I use for this it's called the VRP it's by chemical guys um, and it's pretty good so I'm gonna kind of show you how it works just take a pretty small amount like that just kind of fold it in on itself wipe it into your black and plastic rubber surfaces and it really just soaks it in. It spreads pretty nicely. As you can see, it's looking a lot shinier, glossier. Um, it can get a little streaky, but usually I'll kind of come back with a microfiber and just do a kind of wipe, a light wipe on the top. You usually take everything off. so. I'm gonna do the rest of the spoiler, and then we'll move on to the tires. Over the tires, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna use a little bit more product because I found that with the tires, the rubber seems to soak it in a lot more. So I'm gonna use a little bit more here. And once you get it on, you'll notice that it, it pretty quickly gets soaked in. Um, after you start doing this a couple weeks in a row, it won't be as bad and it'll, it'll use less product. But I did our Jeep for the first time, and I put, I put like two layers on it before it really started to kind of show the shine instead of just soaking it into the rubber. And there you go, easy as that. And with that, the car is done. Um, that VRP stuff works really well. I use it on my top. Um, I use it on my side skirts, my tires, my spoiler, basically anything that's the vinyl, plastic, or rubber, you can use it on, and I think it makes the car look really nice. Um, it's not too shiny, it's not dull, it's the right amount, and it lasts for uh, a while at least, up until I wash the car again, I add a little bit more. So with that, I am sweaty, it's still hot out here, I'm really hoping the weather breaks soon because it's been, it's just been hot. Um, so hopefully we'll get a lot more done in the future, but the car is all clean and I use my whole Arsenal of cleaning products to clean the car today. This is what I do normally on a weekend um, So now you guys know those who were wondering in the comments um, That's how I wash and detail my car on a weekend with that all the products I use or most of the products I use are in the description below you can purchase those products from Amazon through my affiliate link I do get a little bit of money back from Amazon at no cost to you guys so if you do pick up a product, it helps support the channel, helps support the build, and I appreciate you guys who do purchase the products that I put in an affiliate link. I'm gonna close it out here. I hope you guys are looking forward to the next video. I'm going to do a full review on my Super Q exhaust with the exhaust clips like I did for the Roadster Sport one in the past. So stay tuned for that video. It should be coming soon after this one. Um, I'm gonna try to do two uploads this week since I missed last week's upload. Thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate everyone who subscribed to the channel and leaving your comments, your likes, and viewing the videos. If you're new to the channel or you've been watching for a while and you haven't already, be sure you hit that subscribe button below. Love to have you be a subscriber. Hit the like button, leave your comments. I'll see you in the next video.